Hey guys, Tanmay here and in this video, we are going to study a new cipher technique named Playfair cipher. This cipher technique is different from what we've seen till now, so let's understand how this cipher works. We'll be understanding the concept of polygraphic ciphers, we'll see the encryption and decryption process of Playfair cipher, and we'll also solve a problem sum. I'll explain what polygram and polygraph cipher means. Okay, so let's get started. Polygram or polygraphic ciphers encrypt and decrypt a block of character together rather than encrypting or decrypting single characters. It is basically a substitution technique, but in this case, instead of a single character, an entire block of characters is replaced by another block of characters. So in this example, a block of plain text ABCD might be replaced with XZAB, whereas another block ABC will get replaced with totally different block and not XZA depending upon the cipher. Now let's see the working of Playfair cipher and understand its concept. Playfair cipher is a polygram or polygraphic cipher and it works with block of two characters at a time. It consists of a keyword that is agreed upon by both sender and receiver. And we'll see how the keyword works. So let's understand the encryption process or in Playfair cipher. First the sender and receiver agrees upon a keyword, say for example puzzle in this case. Then the sender creates a 5x5 five five matrix. Now the sender creates a 5x5 five five matrix. Since only 25 alphabets can fit in a matrix, we combine i and j and represent it as i. We write the keyword puzzle in the first spaces from left, left to right, excluding the repetitive letters. Now we fill the remaining spaces with alphabets a to z, which have not yet occurred. Notice that we excluded E. We combine I and J. We excluded P. We excluded U. And we excluded Z. Because all those characters were already in our keyword. Now consider a message which the sender wants to send as network security. We first eliminate the blank spaces and combine the two words. If there are two consecutive similar alphabets, we add an X between those alphabets. And if the number of alphabets is odd, we add an X at the end. So these are the rules which we need to follow before the encryption process starts. So here's the final message which needs to be sent. Notice that we added an X in the end because the total number of words in networks. So let's start the encryption process now. Before we actually start the encryption process, there are three major rules which we need to understand. So I'll just state them as they are and we'll understand when the working actually starts. The first rule is for same row. If both letters are in same row, replace them with the letter on the right of the letter. If the letter is on the end, go back to the start of the same row and use the letter to replace with the end letter. I know this sounds bit confusing, but when we actually do the encryption, you'll, you'll understand it very clearly. The rule 2 is for same column. If both of the letters are in the same column, replace them with the letter below them. If the letter is on the bottom, go back to the top of the column and use the letter to replace with the bottom letter. And rule 3 is when both the letters are neither in the same row or nor in the same column. So if neither of the letters are in the same column nor row, Imagine creating a rectangle with the two letters on opposite corners. We write down the other two letters on the other corners of the rectangle. I'm sure you must be confused what, are, what these rules are, but let's see how it works in real when we solve our sum. Now we have a message which needs to be encrypted. So we create a table. And as we know, Playfair cipher works with two characters at a time. We write those two characters in the plain text row. So the plain text consists of N E T W O R K S E C U R I T and Y X. Now we search for the first two characters N E. Now as you can see N and E neither are in the same row nor in the same column. So in this case the rule 3 applies. So we create an imaginary rectangle using N E as the diagonal and search for the other diagonal elements. In this case S and P are diagonal elements to N and E. So N E is replaced with S and P. Let's see for TW. 
Now, as you can see, T W lies in the same row. So for this, rule number one applies. We replace T and W with alphabets to the right of them. That is V and X. Let's see for O and R. Now O and R again lie in the same row. So rule one applies here. We replace O and R with Q and S as Q and S lie to right of each of these words respectively. Let's see for the next block that is K S. Now K S neither lie in same column nor in the same row. So this is rule number three. Now K S is one diagonal and other diagonal elements are M and R. So in this case K S is replaced by M and R. Now for this next block E C again E and C does not lie in same row nor in the same column. So rule number three applies. According to this rule, we replace the diagonal elements with the elements on the other diagonal. That is E C is replaced with Z F. Now for the next block U R. Again, U R doesn't lie in the same column nor in the same row. So rule number three applies. So U R is replaced by L O. For the next block I T, rule number three applies as it doesn't lie in the same row nor in the same column. So the diagonal opposite to I T is G W. So I T is replaced by G W. Now for the block Y X, they lie in the same row. So rule number one applies. Now according to this rule, if an element is at the end, we replace that element. With the starting element in the same row, so in this case, x is replaced by y, but y here is at the ending element, so we replace y with t. So y x is replaced by t y because for y the rightmost element is t, and for x the rightmost element is y. So this is how we get our cipher text. Now this message is sent to the receiver. Now let's see the decryption process. As there were encryption rules, there are three decryption rules. Which are totally opposite to those of the encryption ones. Now the decryption rule number one is for same row. It states that if both letters are in same row, replace them with the letter on the left of the letter. If the letter is at the start, go back to the end of the same row and use the letters to replace with the start letter. The rule two is for same column. If both of the letters in the, are in the same column, replace them with the letters above them. If the letter is on the top, go back to the bottom of the column. And use the letter to replace with the top letter. And rule three is for when both letters are neither in the same column nor in the same row. So if neither of the letters are in same column or row, imagine creating a rectangle with the two letters on opposite corners. Write down the other two letters on the other corners of the rectangle. So now we have a message to be decrypted. Now again we create a table with cipher text, rule, and plain text as the three rows. We write down the cipher text dividing it into Two characters of block. We divide the cipher text in pair of two characters, as Playfair cipher works on blocks of two characters at a time. Now we check for the first block, S P. Now S and P neither lie in same row nor in same column. So here the rule number three applies. Now we create a imaginary rectangle using the diagonal S P. Opposite diagonal to SP is NE, so replace SP with NE. Now VX lie in the same row, so rule number one applies. We replace VX with characters to the left of them respectively. We replace VX with TW as TW lie to the left hand side of V and X respectively. Let's check for QS. Now QS lie in the same row, so again rule one applies. We replace Q S with O R as O and R lie to the left of Q and S respectively. Let's check for M R. In this case, M and R neither lie in the same row nor same column. So rule number three applies, and the diagonal elements to M R are K and S. So M R is replaced with K S. Let's check for Z F. Z and F neither lie in the same row nor same column. So rule number three applies. Now the diagonal elements opposite to Z F are E C. Zf is replaced by ec. Let's check for letters lo. Lo again lies in different column and different rows. So rule number three applies. We replace lo with its opposite diagonal that is ur. Now for gw, they lie in different column and different row. So rule number three applies. We replace gw with with its opposite diagonal as it. For ty, rule number one applies as it as they lie in the same column. For ty, rule number one applies as they lie in the same row. For the character T, 
the left most alphabet is y and for character y the left most alphabet is x so ty is replaced by yx and there you go with your decrypted message and net network security so let's conclude what we learned from this video we saw the concept of polygram or polygraphic ciphers meaning that these ciphers work on block of alphabets rather than single characters we saw the encryption and decryption process of playfair cipher and we solved a problem sum so that's it for this video guys let me know how this video was if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends also subscribe to our channel so that you get notified about the next video that we upload peace